in india we have a family ties the closeness of families many of the families are joint family they live together but here after 10th grade they go children are going different place and they have work and they'll study what do you think the people need there from your perspective and being here in 2 years many of the people are moving from here many do not have job some people have no shelter do you think that we could turn magdal county around It's so great to meet you. I have so many questions. I want to know so many things. I want to learn so much about you. I've been to Magdal County and okay. uh, you know when I when I called and and I had a chance to speak with you it was incredible that you had seen the video. So you actually knew who I was because of the video, right? Yeah, of course, of course. I heard your name. I heard your name actually. Yeah. Yeah, wow. that's, that's awesome. You you came 2 years back here. Yeah, we made two trips. The first okay. time I came by myself, and then the second time, it was me and Projet Aviation, uh, the Executive Airport got, and JYO also got involved, and a whole lot of bunch of other people from Loudoun County got involved. And we uh, didn't. The second time we brought food, but we also brought lots of clothing and other okay, supplies okay. too. Yeah, I'd love to know more about you, um, Father Benny. See, actually, I am from India. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I came two years back. This is my third year here. Oh wow! Yeah. So you 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 flew from India to for this specific project? No, actually, I came to do some service in West Virginia Diocese Catholic Church. Oh. So you wanted to come to West Virginia and and we have a Catholic church here so I came to do some service for some years then I will go back to my place Oh wow okay wow So were you were you specifically interested in working in McDowell County and serving in McDowell County This is actually according to our appointment our in charge the bishop is in charge and he will appoint each person Wow. So I got the appointment here. Wow, that's incredible. It's almost yeah. like yeah, that's in the last 2 years I I am working here in McDonald County. That's incredible. The last 2 years. Father Benny, you know that that McDowell County is um has been known in the past as one of the poorest county in America. Of course, of course I know, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and how has it been going there for you? Yeah, everything is fine and people are so loving and so good people here. and most of the people are jobless and they always depend on other people so, but very good people nice people here absolutely yeah i know i was there too absolutely how many people yeah. in the church i mean there is it still active there actually many of the members of our church people are moved from here or they are very old people and in this church where i am at present we have around 40 families here but they are not that active because many are homebound people homebound meaning they don't have transportation to come to the church oh uh, because they are maybe they are, they are sick one way or another they are sick and they, they cannot come to the church so i visit them and i have one more church in powert and close by so i am going there also for prayers there mm-hmm. there also we have some 40 50 families out there close by yeah and and you're having the service in person or is it because of covid now i mean does that how has covid changed everything yeah it's it's going on it's it's a single reason i think but we have only service on sundays and our church is very quite big church and very few members so we can have the uh, the distance and all this protocols we can follow the protocols and we have we can have a service there's no problem that's great what do you think the people need there from your perspective and being here in 2 years people need job many are many do not have job yeah yeah there's not yeah, much and work. also some people they not they have no shelter they have no place to live 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, because yesterday I happened to meet a person in war. There is a place called War. It's close by. And I met him and he told that he told me that he has no place to live. He has no shelter, he said. So Father Benny, when someone comes to you in need like this, what do you do for them? I gave him a number and I told him to conduct there is a charity of there is a uh, I think there is a charity organization is going on in Pineville side. So you should there help all, all these kind of people. So I told him to conduct that charity organization and they may help him. Got it. Okay. Either to find a shelter or something. Yeah. So it sounds to me like it's it's the same topic that keeps coming around again. It's jobs, 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 right? Yeah. Most people don't have work. They're struggling a lot. And I'm yeah, sure you yeah. know the history of the, of the county, right? This was coal country. And yes, yes, yes. Coal mines were here. Yeah. And many of the coal mines are now, they have stopped. They have crossed down. Mm-hmm. Oh, all of them? So, I, I think most of them, maybe only one or two may be functioning, that's all. Only one or two coal mines are yeah. functioning. Yeah. 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 When I was there two years ago, it might have been two or three. Yeah. Yeah. It, that's, that's, that's all. So because of the job, many have moved from here. They are going to different places to settle down. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we have a little bit of an audience. So, you know, if people wanted to um, do something, like what could they do to help? Like if somebody wanted to help and they saw this video, like how could they help? Some people come to us asking for some, they have to pay some elect- uh, the power bill, utility bill. They need some money for uh, doing something or purchasing something. They, they come for some money. Right. So we can make donations to people. Right. Yeah, donations and so on. Yeah, and and they could do that through the church, or they would go and do that directly, or a different place, or yeah, usually they do it through uh, through the church, or when they come, we may not be able to give them directly. So we contact some other people who can help them. Sure. What advice do you have for people in McDowell County? I do not know what advice I should give to them because. Uh, uh, you, the problem is that many of the people are moving from here. They are going from here and settling some other places because they they say that here there is no job, so we are moving from here. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. It's it's a difficult situation. I mean, we've, we're all thinking about this and what the solution is and how we can bring possibly jobs. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was reading about McDowell County um, just last night on Wikipedia, and it was talking about how the Department of Agriculture, I think, has declared the area as, uh, uh, they call it a uh, food desert. Um, yeah. Meaning there's uh, not um, readily, easily accessible, healthy food, such as vegetables and fruit there. Is that true? Do you have access to be able to pick up your vegetables and your fish, for example, in the area? Yeah, I go for shopping and I get it from there. Where do you get it from? We have we have two three places here. We have save a lot. We have uh, good sons. Two three places are there. So and sometimes I go to Walmart in Brookfield, Virginia. I go and pick up my food from there. How far is uh, Brookfield from where you are? From here, one hour to Brookfield. That is in Virginia. Mm. And it's all mountainous area, right? You going up and down and turn and left and right, right? It's not like a straight. Yeah, shot. it's actually like, yeah. It's like a snaky road this side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you don't go to Walmart, do you think that you can get all the all the fruits and vegetables in the area? Do you think that the local people, yeah. they have access to yeah. fresh fruit and vegetable? Yeah, we, we have everything. I think they can go to save a lot is here and uh, Good Sons. So they go they go go and get it from there. So Good Sons and uh, Seven Lot. Seven Lot. They have fruits and vegetables there. Yeah, they have food and vegetables there. Oh, okay, that's great. That's great. That's good to know. Uh, because yeah. I remember that that um, not too long ago, I think it was a few years ago, uh, that uh, Walmart had left the area. That yeah, was yeah. Area. Right, right. So I was just curious. And then I was right. reading about it online in Wikipedia about how that the area is considered food desert. Um, 
I, w- I wanted to know if you have access to fruits and vegetables. Yes, of course, of course, we have. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Father Benny, how about you? How are you doing? Is there anything that we can do for you? Do you need anything? Are you comfortable? No, no, no. Yes, of course, I am comfortable because uh, my diocese, my church is looking after me. So I, I am fine here. There's no problem. Who's looking out for you? Oh, the church. My, my church, my, yes. ca- my Catholic church, my diocese. Mm-hmm. Father Benny, do you miss your family? I imagine you have family back in India. I miss my friends and my family means uh, I lost my parents. They are no more parents. My brothers and sisters are there. They are doing good there in India. And every year we are allowed to go for holidays, but this year I could not go because of the COVID. Mm. Yes, that's understandable. What is it that you love about your work that you do? Why, why do you like to be a, a, a pastor? Priest. A priest? Yeah, pa- yes, sir. Yeah, priest. See, when I was in 10th grade, I, I had a desire to become a priest because I saw many priests are doing a lot of good works in India. And I had a good contact with the pastor where I was. So after 10th, I joined the seminary to become a priest. Then I did my all my graduation, PG, post-graduation, I, all my studies, theology, philosophy. Then I worked in India for 20 years as a pastor. Oh, wow. I worked in different places like the hospital or the formation houses I worked. Then I came here. Wow, that's amazing. What are some things that you're proud of that you've achieved, you know, in being a priest over the years? Just maybe a few things that come to mind. I have served many people, like lots of people, and many people approached me for many, many, many purposes. Like, you know, uh, sometimes they want to share their problems, you know, and they want to get some kind of uh, solace to them, some kind of, uh, I mean, good words from me. And also I work in a hospital in India and I know that the people are coming with a lot of problems in India. So I, I could do a lot of things for the people. Even I had some uh, street children there in India. So I was going to the, the slum area and I was giving classes, education to the people there. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Father Benny, do you, do you, what is the difference like when you were serving in India versus here in McDowell County? In the, actually, the, the culture is entirely different, you know. <laughs> the Western culture and Indian culture is entirely different. Yeah. But one thing is that people are very loving here in McDowell County. And in India also, wherever I serve, the people are so loving. What did you like um, about the culture was, since you've been here in the U.S.? Each country has its own culture. You know, you know some some things are uh, we cannot actually compare which is better, which is which is bad, or uh, wherever we live. I usually like wherever I wherever I live. I take that culture and I live here. And when I go back to India, I have to follow the culture of that place. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Water good. Certain, certain things are maybe bad in here or there. It, it will be there. We, but we cannot judge which is better, which is worse. You know? <laughs> oh, I, I totally agree with you. It's, they're, they're just different. But is there anything in particular that you liked about how the people were treating you or how the culture was in U.S.? Anything that stood out? Yeah. yeah. See, you? see, people are here. People are treating me very well. There is no problem at all. But coming to the concern with the families, in India, we have a family ties. The closeness of families. You're absolutely right. I mean, in America, we're encouraged that we, when we turn 18, that we go on and on your own. You know, we spread our wings and we go and we find our way, and make it happen. And in, yeah. in India and those regions, uh, it's you know the, the 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 parents they live with the son and the, yes, the wife. Yes. They all together. Yes, actually. Till the children are married, the parents will look after the children in India. But here, after 10th grade, they go, the children are going different places, and they work and they study. They have their own education. But in India, everything is looked after by the parents. 
many of the families are joint families. They live together. Parents, children, sometimes their grandchildren, they all live together. That's true. But, but now it is changing. Now it is like a nucleus family. Now it is changing. I'm glad that, that um, you know, everyone is, sounds like you've been treated really well. You look like you're doing wonderful, which is great to see. Yeah, um, you know, j- just as an American citizen, I want to say thank you for, for coming and serving and, and going to McDowell County. Yes, um, thank you. I also think that the people are amazing. Uh, you know, what, what do you hope to accomplish while you're there, Father Benny? I am appointed here to look after the pastoral needs of the people, especially the church, Catholic church, along with doing some social work for the people outside. Father Benny, any uh, thoughts on the long term? Um, long-term um, improvement, um, helping and supporting and developing of McDowell County? Um, maybe, maybe I can give this answer later. Maybe the speaking with some people, I can give you the answer. Thank you, yeah. The thing is, uh, that's a very, very um, loaded question. Yeah, Father yeah. Benny, because it's a very, very difficult question, right? It's a question that so many of us have thought about, we haven't come to um, anything that's really been, you know, the ideal solution. But I'm hopeful that somebody's going to come up with a solution. I oh, mean, do you, think that, do you think that we could turn McDowell County around? If we have some industries or some factories here and people can work, people can come from different places and they can come here to work, then of course it will develop, this county will develop. Mm-hmm. But they have to start something here for work. The government has to take initiative, some kind of uh, factory or industry. They have, to be, they have to start here. Well, this is what I was thinking about too, because when I read the article about Walmart pulling out, I was thinking, what could we do, you know, to maybe, because I was thinking about the families and not having access to fresh fruits and vegetables on a regular basis and, and you know, affordable prices in is it, is it, can the government do something to help give some tax cut breaks to maybe just that one Walmart that would be open? For example, I know there's other Walmarts in other areas that were shut down too. But um, what can the government yeah. do, right? So actually, many people go from here to Bluefield to buy the things, maybe Walmart and so on, because many of the, many of the things are from, our, I mean, I, either they go to Beckley side, Beckley is uh, again one hour from here, or Bluefield or Princeton. These are the main township we have here. So many of the people, they go to the other places. One of the challenges, right, with bringing manufacturing jobs there or even manufacturing, um, I've heard is that there's some issues with drugs. Um, do you yeah. find that people in the area or uh, a lot of them are having challenges with drugs or do you think that this is something of the past? You know, I think it is there. Still, it is going on. I think many of the interior places it is going on. It is there. That is what I was told. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you see people that are like on drugs as such? Uh, so far as I have not seen anybody, but many people told me that don't go certain areas. Okay. They advised me to not to go certain places, especially the afternoon or the evening time. Right. Okay. But I have not seen anybody here. I have not seen so far. But there are cases. Yeah. But, you know, suppose Walmart or someone similar like Walmart or manufacturing or some, you know, young, brilliant kid comes up with some idea, right, to create jobs. Of will, course, he, of be, course. will he be able to find people who are not on drugs that will work in that factory or in that store or in that place yeah suppose if we have any manufacturing units here naturally people with the the young kids they will work there we can find them some jobs in that manufacturing units so father Benny, I, I think what you're saying is that there's younger people there that are not on drugs that can be valuable to a company that would want to come in the area 
and work with of them. Of course, yeah? of course, yeah, of course, of course. Thank you, Father Benny. Okay. Thank you so much. So take I really care, enjoyed this conversation. You. God yes, bless bye. you too. Thank yes. you so much. They say that this area, McDowell County, is considered a food desert, and there's no fresh fruits in this area. What do you think about that? There you go, right there. Okay, show me. What do you got? A whole produce department over there. That looks really nice. 